this room warm in here, you know that that pipe's not going to freeze. Mm -hmm. So if the pipe's in the wall in here, then you'd have less chance, you'd have more of a chance of freezing conditions in there. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So with this starting off as a shower head heating, and it changed to a hot water heater tank underneath the stove, underneath the kitchen sink there. So there's a lot to look out for. So once you get plans, then you can shop the plans out. Mm -hmm. And don't get yourself in a rush. Don't have a time bind, because that'll also cause problems with the build. Mm -hmm. gotcha. You need to take as long as it takes till you find the right builder that you're comfortable with. Okay, gotcha. Without a doubt. I want to have running water into my house too. That is not this. This has running water. Like a, not uh, not from like a tank though, from from the system. I was yeah, this connects to the house. Oh, is that? Yeah. Okay. So you'd have, you can have continuous running water without a doubt. Even if you're off grid, you just put in a big supply tank, and then you put in a pump that, as soon as you turn on the valve to call for water, it automatically starts the pump mm -hmm. because it sees that drop in pressure and it turns the pump on automatically. And you can put a barrel outside and put it with full of water, and then put that 12 volt pump there that's run by your solar system to power it. See, another thing, the nice thing about if you go north of Austin and you get up into that temperate belt of the United States, you uh, can live off grid so much more efficiently. Mm. Collect the rainwater for pumping. And... Well, not necessarily collect the rainwater, but have a water well. So that's the water well. heater down there, which is bigger than it looks online. So, there's a lot to them, more than meets the eye. So those are just some of the things you need to watch out for. And um, I could save a lot of money by building it myself. Thank you. 